The stag represents 70s porn. I mean, that's not being about the bush. Pardon the expression. There's nothing quite like it when you watch that bonnet just lift up as you put your foot down. I just love driving it. We have lots of fun. The stag is simply an awesome car. Just the name, Triumph Stag. I remember it as being quite a tasty little motor. I'll be honest, the stag's rubbish. I, I don't think I would ever, given the opportunity, drive, even be a passenger in a stag. I just don't think it's a great car. You may have guessed, I'm not really a fan of the stag, but there are plenty of people who can't get enough of them. I think of the stag a bit like some women. It's matured gracefully. When I drive mine around, I get little boys that are about seven years old shouting, nice car. Car enthusiasts from all over the country regularly come together to share their passion with other car fans. We belong to the Stag Owners Club, which is one of the largest single mark clubs that there are in the classic car field. We have currently about 4,000 members in this country and abroad. I mean, we even have a stag on Fiji, believe it or not. It's not just the stag's good looks that made the car a global hit. People are in love with how it sounds. Oh, it sounds bloody marvellous, doesn't it? You get a group of them travelling together and they really sound very much head-turning equivalent. In its early days, the stag had a history of problems under the bonnet. One of its main issues was its overheating engine. When the stag was first introduced, the workshop as such was chock bang full of stags. 99% with blown engines. Some of our mechanics used to disappear because they hated working on the bloody thing. <laughs> Members of the club are in a constant battle to preserve the positive image of the stag. The car got a bad reputation in the 70s for reliability, but today we've tamed the beast. That's well known, well recognised, and most cars are kept well maintained. The Triumph Stag is a vastly underrated car. I know it's had its history and it's had a history of problems, but I quite like it.